to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a special review for you guys, but first I want to introduce you to um, some newest additions in our family. I They are about two weeks old, and you might be able to hear them. <laughs> These two little twin kitties. So here's the first one. I believe they're both boys, but it looks like her eyes are almost about to open. And then there is this one over here, which one eye is open and the other one is opening very slowly, but we're getting there. Holly, how little boy, lady, girls, whatever you are. Is mama coming to save the day? Oh. So here they are. They're super tiny little baby girls or boys. I'm not sure yet. I think they're both boys, but I'm not sure yet. Hey, so I'm going to put them over here. So Mama's like, I can hear them crying. So the review is for two eyeshadow palettes. So these ones I recently just picked up. I literally picked these up just a couple of days ago, and I've been playing with them nonstop. Um, well, more so this neutral one than the other one, but there's some really beautiful colors. I love this. I cannot explain to you how much beauty is in one palette. So, these are the LA Colors 16, eyesh 16 color eyeshadow palettes. I cannot tell you... Uh, there are so many good things about these palettes. I just can't tell you enough what is so good about the palettes. So, let's just get into it. I do want to let you guys know before we get into it, though, my whole face is done with all LA Colors products except for the brows. None. The rest of it is all LA Colors. So, if you want to see a review, or I mean, I'm sorry, a tutorial, please let me know in the comment section down below. Um, and I would definitely love to film a tutorial. It was using this palette, some other things that I have by LA Colors. Clearly, I mean, there's blush and all this other stuff going on. So, let me know what you want to see. This lip color, this matte lip color was two bucks. That's all I gotta say. All right, moving on into the palette reviews. So the first one I want to talk about is Sweet. So let's talk about the packaging first before we jump into the palette. Um, it's a thick plastic packaging. It's a hard plastic. I mean, it's definitely going to crack if you step on it, but like what palette wouldn't do that? Like what naked palette wouldn't do that? Let me know. So it feels very lightweight. There's nothing heavy about it, but the packaging feels decent and it's got a nice like um, click closure. It's like snapping and super hard to open at times, which can be annoying, but I don't have a problem with it. The pan size I think is just right for a brush, a wide enough brush. I'm glad that they're not just some weird, tiny, minuscule shape that would never, that we could never take advantage of. I like the fact that the back does look cheap, but the ingredients are very largely listed. So it's got all of these. They're, um, First ingredient is talc, second ingredient is mica. I don't really think I've ever noticed or seen this before, um, like for this long, which is, this is the expiration date. If you see like a beauty container with the lid open, that's the expiration date. It says this will last 36 months from the time that you open the palette. So let's say you bought this, but you never opened it or touched anything. It's not going to go bad because the air and everything hasn't really gotten to it. At least that's what I say. So if you don't like it, don't want it. So moving in to the palette itself. This is really annoying. Get out of here. So the palette did come with this. I want to mention, I already threw them out, but um, this little longer sponge tip applicator, it came with one of those, but... No one uses those except Christine. Hi, hello, sexuals, if you're out there. Um, and this is what the palette looks like. So I've got it flipped over every which way. One downside I can already tell you is that there is no mirror. Another downside I want to let you know is there are no mattes in this particular palette. Another downside is also that these shades in here are not too different from each other. Um, especially this first row, all except like this green, basically look the same to me. At least there's a couple that look 
very similar, but they are different, but they look very similar. And so, you know, that's all I have to say about it. I like that it is pretty compact to the palette itself. It's literally the size of my hand, this entire palette. So that's great. Easy for uh, travel use. Just again, no mirror, which is the one downside that I miss about the palette. This was $4 where I purchased it. I got it from Dollar General. I just looked online. I saw it at Walmart for $3.44. Um, and somewhere else had it too. And it looks like they have a different palette. This is this palette. I really want to get into the swatching because I cannot explain to you guys how awesome these shades are. This palette is the more neutral one, of course. I'm not sure how well some of these shades are going to show up on my skin tone, but trust me when I say these are extremely pigmented eyeshadows. All right, so I have swatches here for the very first row. So as you can see here, this one is a nice light champagne color. This one is a rose gold kind of champagne bronzy kind of color. It's not the most pigmented there, um, but it does have pigment. Um, but I think, I mean, there's definitely a better bronze in the, in the bottom row. We have another, like, champagne-y that's lighter than this one. It's basically the same one, but it's lighter. Then I have this one here, which is a rose gold peachy color. These honestly look the same right here, these two. But this one looks a little shinier. Um, this one is more of, like, a satin. Then we have this one here, which is, like, an orangey copper. And then we have this really pretty chartreuse or olive green, I should say, not chartreuse, but definitely olive green. There are two different finishes in this palette. You'll get a metallic flash, or you'll get a satiny type of finish. Um, I would say, like the first one, the second, or the first one, the third one, the fourth, no, first, third, fifth, and seventh. So like this one, this one, this one down here, this bronze, and this very first one are all a satin finish. The other ones I would say are pretty metallic here in person. I can definitely see that metallic in that. Um. Okay, so I did use, um, for highlighter, I used these eyeshadows too. So I would definitely show you that when I get there. But let's go ahead and swatch the bottom row now. Let me get to it. These are just so pigmented, so buttery feeling, creamy. I cannot believe these are LA colors like I'm not so sure if the brand is cruelty free or anything like that all right so here is the bottom row so first we have this really pretty dark olive green it's so beautiful it's got a nice satin finish to it we have a nice bronze which is more pigmented than the first it's still a satin finish this is a really pretty champagne which is what I have on my cheeks today love dark brown really pretty chocolatey vibe satin finish this one is my favorite shade of the entire palette this is what I have on my eyelids today it's just a really beautiful copper metallic eyelid eye shade and then we have a black which is not too pigmented but it's it'll work for smoking and then the last one we show here is a white kind of glow I also use that as highlight today because it's really a like a wet looking color like a wet look and vibe to that shade but it's really hard to see on the camera but this pick this row the very bottom row is a lot more pigmented than the top row and there's more differences so if you guys can see I went from this way to this way that's that white right there they're so pretty in the pan um, the palette is very good for um, highlight shades I would definitely just like swirl these top this top row is a highlight I would just swirl that all except the green like what's it gonna do um, so I also took in this palette on my lid. I'm using this copper shade on my inner corner I've got this the champagne and the white going same as the highlight. It's this white and the Champagne color right down here as my highlight and I mean it's popping like look at that So really pretty palette palette overall it was only four dollars so affordable I am actually really blown away. So all right, so the next palette I want to talk about smoking palette so this is what it looks like on the back, same deal, same packaging, different colors. The reason I was actually not going to pick up this palette, and the reason because uh, 
behind that is because I don't really use a lot of different colors, although I love to. Um, I just don't. But the one reason that made me want to get this palette was because of this purple shade right here, which in person is a beautiful burgundy plum. But in camera, it's showing up very like violet. Well, not violet, but I mean like, well, I guess it is. It's just showing up a lot brighter than it is. It's a darker berry toned purple, if you know what I mean. Let's talk about it here. We get a dark chocolate brown, a light baby pink. What is this? Like a gold kind of color, an emerald green, an olive green, a teal. We get a warm brown. And then this is a very, I don't know, this kind of looks like a gray brown. Kind of looks gray, kind of looks brown, not too sure. We get a light gray, we get a dark gray, we get a black, a white, a berry, a plum. How would I describe this? Like, this is a very, this is like a royal purple, and then we get a navy. So I'm very excited to swatch because I love adding pops of colors. Like a big amount. Oh, that is really pretty. I didn't think it was going to look like that at all. That is really pretty. Mm. We got a dud. So this is the first color. You get this really pretty dark brown. Really impressed. This is a light pink. Um, it doesn't really show up that way, so I could definitely put this in the inner corners or under a brow bone. Same for the gold. It's very light. I think you guys can see it there. It's, these three are satin finishes. Um, actually, these four. Actually, I'm going to be honest. All of these are satin finishes right here. So that's the gold. Really pretty. You could put it in the inner corner. That's the green. It's really pretty. This is another green right here, which is pretty too. Um, I can definitely see in person it doesn't look too pigmented on screen, but this is the teal. That what that's what like blew my mind right at first. And then we have two more dark browns over here. This one's more cool tone at the bottom, and this one's warmer here above that. And moving on to this, this is a gray. This was the dark gray, but it looks very navy peacocky blue it blew my mind this is a black that was the dead the white is right next to it it's the exact same one from the other palette you get this really pretty berry shade this really pretty plum this is the royal purple violet -y shade and then this is the um navy these are all pigmented but the black i would say is the least pigmented this is so pretty. I'm actually very happy I've grabbed this one as well because I can do some really amazing fun looks with these shades. So I'm so excited to definitely get my hands into this palette. If you want to see a tutorial using this one and just, you know, this whole look overall, please let me know and I'll definitely do that for you guys. Um, the other matte shades I have here from LA Colors, I'm wanting to grab more to do like a full-on swatch vest with you guys. Where is all this hair coming from? They look like this and they are 50 cents each and I have those in my crease today. So first one I have is this really pretty warm brick red Forbidden. The French vanilla I set with my set my eyelids with the French vanilla. This one's in the crease. These two are both in the crease. Secret and Whisper. So if you want to see reviews on these, like I said, they are 50 cents each. I will be doing a review on these. Um, we'll be going and getting more, and if you want to see that review, it'll definitely be coming very, very soon. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope that you were as impressed as I was. I hope you enjoyed this little review. Let me know if you want to see the tutorial for this full eye look, or I mean makeup look that costed, that costed, that cost me $24 to create. Um, and yeah, check the links down below for those two palettes, and I'm not sponsored in any way. I'm just like really obsessed with like finding cheap makeup at this time subscribe if you like my channel and thumbs up this video let me know to keep these types of videos coming and i will see you in my next one bye guys